close to the river. There is a place that we go to hide, Lord. Father, we are here this morning, Lord. In that precious place, Lord. Hiding, oh Father. Hiding, Lord, from the world, Father. Hiding, Lord, from the impending doom, Lord. The signs are there, Father. We are right at the end, Lord Jesus. And Lord, what touches our hearts is that it's not our choice. It's thy loving kindness. Thy mercy, oh God. My goodness, oh Father, that has brought us this far. And Lord, words will fail me this morning just to speak of your goodness Lord just to speak of your love in our lives Lord Father what could we have been without you Lord where would I be without you oh King Jesus oh Lord help me Father help us as a church Lord to appreciate what you have done for us there is nothing out there, Lord. It's a failing, a dying world, Lord. But you've kept us close. You've hid us under your wings, Lord. We are so grateful, Father. We are so grateful. Thank you, Lord, for these beautiful times. Times that we'll forever cherish, Lord. And when the end of time comes, Lord, and we're sitting looking back into our lives, we will say it was good. Thank you for these beautiful moments, Lord. Continue to bless us. And as we come to the close of these meetings, Father, be with us once again. For Lord, what use is it if we gather without thee? We gather in vain. But we believe that, Lord, you will die for your word. You will say that when two or more are gathered in your name, there you are in their midst. And we can already feel your presence, Father. We can feel your presence among us, oh God. King Jesus, heal the sick. Those that are burdened, oh God. Lift the burdens. And those, Lord, that have come under expectation, Lord, and deliver, Father, for you have never failed. We thank you, King Jesus. Bless this day, oh God. May it be a day, Lord, where we get all the blessings that we have come to get from thee, Lord. You are a good God unto us. We worship you, Lord. We praise your holy name. We want to commit all things unto you this day, O oh God. In the mighty name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. As we say, Amen. 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 God bless you all. Amen. Amen. How many are happy to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. Amen. How many will sing with me? Amen. Amen. How many will pray for me? Amen. Amen. I was not expecting to stand here today. Um, I realize, I think we, we, we are lovers of fast foods. Amen. Amen. Brother, Brother Paddington also made me do these fast foods. Amen. <laughs> I was complaining yesterday, but he's doing the same thing to me. Amen. <laughs> God bless you. Um, let's stand and greet one another. Amen. <coughs>
yesterday, um, I was tempted by the devil, amen. Uh, and I feel so down. Please pray for me. Um, it, it might seem seems, uh, something that is simple to, to, to all of us, but it really, it, it killed my self-esteem. Amen. Um, I was talking to Brother Fatim and telling him how, we are laughing about it, but I, I realized it's actually still affecting me that much. Um, you know, after all that we went through, after all the services, how we were blessed, um, then when we, when we were going back home, um, sorry to take your time, but you might want to hear this, amen. We were, we were going back home, and then we passed through um, uh, checkers. I wanted to buy one or two things yesterday. Um, then, <coughs> uh, when we were just standing in the queue, we actually were, were approaching the, the tier, and we realized there was a, there was a, there was a trolley. Just, um, if you can translate, there was, a, there was a trolley. Um, but it was not blocking the way for us. So we just navigated and went to pay. The 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 the, 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 the tier operator was waiting to, to save some money. Then we we just went. I didn't know if there was someone because there was no one. Then when we got there. I was with my daughters and my wife. My daughters were busy taking things to, to, to get us to pay. And then uh, all of a sudden, a, a white gentleman approached in an aggressive way. And he was uh, really head on. He was asking me, did you not see that I was in, in the queue? And I was actually calm about it. And I say, ah, I say, I don't think there's a problem. You can proceed and pay. Then he said, there is a problem. He just wanted a fight. And he ignored the fact that I said, you can go and pay. There's a problem. He was actually ready to fight. And you know, as, 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 as men, we need to be very careful of our egos. Eh? <coughs> Especially when your wife is around. <laughs> uh, I think yeah, my wife now understands and she knows how to calm me down. Uh, Sister Nolita was in the car. Uh, I think if she was around, it was going to make the situation even worse. <laughs> it was too, I would have four women to, to try and protect. <laughs> So uh, I just, th he started swearing at me. Uh, and no one was, besides us and uh, the, the two operator, no one, no one was seeing what was happening. And I felt in my heart that I needed to defend myself. Uh, and I thought about so many things. Things about race. And I'm thinking about the fact that I have my family. He's insulting me in front of my children. And he's swearing. It really affected me. And I told him, please say, with respect, don't swear at me. That I can swear at you. He started swearing more. And you know, Adrenaline starts rising. <laughs> <laughs> the devil wanted me to fight. And I started thinking of um, all those incidents where people become viral. I remember there was a, a fight in a swimming pool somewhere. It became viral. And, you know, people start talking about it. And you get interviewed. Get interviewed people thinking about getting a psychologist for you. And I thought, I thought all of those things, in a few minutes I thought about all those things. And I was like, I don't want to be in that position. And I, if I was someone else, Brother Paddington was saying I would have, I would open the, 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 the race ticket. You want, to, you, you want to be racist? But I said to myself, I'm not going to do that. I want him to be on the same level with me. 
He doesn't, he needs to understand that I'm not looking at the race. We are human beings at the same level. So I'm not going to be disadvantaged and talk about race. So I just told him, say, don't, don't insult me. But he kept on going on, insulting me. I would have actually lost it. But, you know, with all that we went through yesterday, all the beautiful preaching, it really helped me. And I remain calm. You can imagine this gentleman is behind me. I'm busy paying. He's keeping on insulting me. And the, the process delays. <laughs> Everything. The devil just puts spanners in the works. The two operator delays. Everything delays. And he keeps on. And it feels like a needle on my heart. He keeps on saying it behind me. I, I just remained calm. I, I greeted gracefully the, 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 the other person who was packing. Good evening, good evening, good evening ma'am. And they were shocked because they were expecting me to lose it. After that, I just, um, we finished paying. Then we, we were on, on our way. I didn't, I didn't want to turn back and look at him. Because I could tell he wanted to fight. On our way, before we, we, we exited, my wife said, we forgot to pay something for something. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, at that moment, I thought, <sighs> this is not stopping. <laughs> and you know, when you, when you are trying not to, to even do this, to move, to, I was trying by all means to just go in a linear way. <laughs> and I stopped. Something said to me, you know, just go with it. It, it was uh, the th throat lozenges. I was like, ah, you know what? I don't, I, I don't believe in stealing. If you, uh, there's a point where I actually took something without knowing at this camp, and then I, we realized when we were at home that we didn't pay. Then we went through the receipt. We actually verified and we saw that we didn't pay. Uh, we went back. It was like two weeks later. When we got an opportunity, and then we went in and paid. From the security to the two operators, everyone was trying to resist us coming to pay. Why are you coming and paying? You managed to you managed to pass the entry. The, why are you coming to pay? Then I was like, okay, uh, we are, it's, it's my obligation. I have to pay. They were shocked. They were dropping their jaws. And then we went and uh, got to the two operators. The two of us didn't, didn't know what to do with us. How can we? We can't, we can't, we can't do anything now. I said, please call the manager. They call, they call the manager. And everyone was stopping and asking me, what, what's your surname, name, sir? I said, ah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you are different. Yeah. So that's what we are supposed to do as Christians. So we turned. And then I... Going back now, I told my wife, we tried to pay by the other, you know, side two next to the money market. Just when we were getting there, the lady put a closed. The two is closed. <laughs> and I was like, ah, all the doors are being closed here. <laughs> then all of a sudden I said, you know what? I'm a man, I have to face this. I turned back, I saw all the twos were occupied. Then, you know, we locked, we locked eyes with that gentleman. He was like, you know, when someone is drawing you, he wants to look at you. He wants you to face them. Then we were looking at each other like this. Then he started, he started using sign language now. He was, and no one was seeing it. It was just a silent battle. <laughs> you know the finger? He started showing me the finger. You know what I mean? I'm sorry for the language. And he started swearing using, verb, using uh, sign language and using lips. You know, when you, say something, when you say to someone, I love you, but you're saying that, that swear, swearing words, those swearing words, but saying, saying the swearing words. And he's not saying anything. And my wife, you know what I, the only thing that I did in retaliation, I was so defeated. I just said, you, you are really crazy. You are, crazy. You, you are really crazy. I didn't say anything, I just said, and Shona will say, Uno dunya. that's what I said to him. 
That's the only thing I managed to say. Ah, then he was like to me, come, hey. let's go outside. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we were still heading keto in our days, I would have finished with him. <laughs> <laughs> if we were not saved, that time we were not saved. <laughs> ah, that, that environment, that situation, it was now ripe. That's the time when you just get a slip from nowhere. You find yourself uh, getting chamatsinga and zungu. And you, and you fall down. You will not wake up from that. So, uh, but I thank God for the services that we had. And I'm sorry to take your time. I just felt it would make me light. Because it was really bothering me. I felt, I felt hey, as a man... These things are happening, and you don't, you don't, you can't do anything about it. <laughs> Sister Nolita said to me, brother, you need to pray for that person. In the moment I said, Sister, yes, for this mo in this moment, please pray on my behalf. <laughs> <laughs> I will pray later. <laughs> right now, I, I can't pray. <laughs> But later on, I realized, you know what, that, that man he really needs prayer. So please help me pray for that, the, the gentleman, and pray for me. Amen. Uh, we shall sing one song as we, oh, brother, Nehemiah, please, brother, Nehemiah, just be ready to take the... To take a few songs for us. Amen. Uh, we have specials, but we want to reserve them for, for the conference. Maybe you ask Sister Linda. I know you are ever ready <laughs> to do one song for us before Brother, before brother Nehemiah comes. Sister Linda will do. Sister Linda will do. Don't worry, everything is in order. Sister, Sister Linda, just be ready. After you come through, um, I'm just going to sing a song and ask Brother Nehemiah to be ready. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Oh, yeah. 
Pastor Sergio can start in just a place.
specials you also have songs. Amen. Um, Ki'i, I shall not be moved. Jesus is my Savior. I shall not be
just want to sing uh, just a common song, Waymaker. That is who you are. You are you moving in this place. Worship you, worship you. You are here, healing every heart. Worship you, worship you. You are here, turning lives around. Worship. You are here, bending every heart. I worship you, I worship you. Waymaker, waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hey, waymaker, miracle worker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you were, that is who you were, way back, that is who you were, you are here, moving in. You are here, working in this place. I worship you, I worship you. You are here, mending every heart. I worship you, I worship you. Way back, way back, it up and work, promise. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Way back, way back, it up, work, promise, keep. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. That is who you are. Way back, that is who you are. That is who you were. We met. That is who you were. We met. That is who you were. We met. That is who you were. That is who you were. Way back, that is who you were. Way back, that is who you were. Way back, that is who you were. want to sing another one. The promises. For me, I love Abraham so much. Many of my songs I quote. 
So I just like uh, the lyrics of this song very, very much. Okay, and you can use the same key, okay? God of Abraham and the God of Abraham, faithful promises. Yeah, time and time again, you have proven you do just what you say. Though the storm may come and the winds may blow, I remain steadfast. Then my heart will end if you speak. Hey, when it will come to pass Though that storm may come and the winds may blow I'll remain safe Let my heart pull and if you speak Hey, when it will come to pass Great is your faithful From the rising sun to the setting sun, I will praise your name. From the rising sun to the setting sun, I will praise your name. From age to age, who will make me pass away? Your word remains the same. Yeah, history can do. There's nothing you can do. You're faithful and true. Though the storm may come and the winds may blow, I'll remain steadfast. Then my heart will let me feel speak. They will need to come. Though the storm may come and the wind may blow, I will remain steadfast. Let my heart cool and if you speak, they will need to come to pass. Great is your faithfulness to me. Great is your faithfulness. I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the my hope and the foundation. You never let me come on, come together and say, I put my faith, my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the ground, my foundation.
is your faithfulness to Again. Great is your faithfulness to From the rising to the rising sun to the setting sun my obey So From the rising sun to the setting sun my obey So Call Brother Ben to come and sing for us as we thank the Lord with a clapping of hands. Jesus, keep me in the clothing. Precious hope for So, don't worry about the key. <laughs> Just worry about the words. <laughs> it is a song that tells you where you came from, mm. where you are, Amen. and where you are going to stand, spend eternity. Amen. It goes like this. It's as if I'm reading, not singing. <laughs> Before there was a, before the moon or the sun, all that time ever begun, before that God ever said that there be light, before there was a grain of sand, I was in the master's plan. I was there. Hallelujah, I was there. Amen. Before this earth did appear, oh, there was an atmosphere. Before there was a star to grace the sky. Be when the sons of God did sing, praise the God, glory to the King. There. Hallelujah, 
I was there. Amen. When my Savior gave his life, shed his blood and paid the price. Amen. When the mountain shook and the, web, the veil was rent in trade, when the spear did it pierce his side, he was traveling for his bride, and I was there. Hallelujah, I was there. Amen. Now, as I walk this other race, my faith is on God in my God, and I will not fear. As through this valley I must walk, Christ is living in my heart. His word says, you never for depart, and he is here. Hallelujah, he is here. Till the trump of horseshoe sound, calling me to higher rims, my eyes are fixed on Jesus, my Lord and God. Soon your call is waiting bright to be ever heart inside. Then I will be there. Yes, Hallelujah, I will be there. singing. Uh, we thank the Lord as we clap our hands again. Let's go to see. Oh, 
young sister there. God bless you. Okay, can you just stand? Can you stand? God bless you. This is where you belong. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And uh, happy to see the other visitors among us. God bless you, sister. She's been with us for a couple of services. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And uh, we have brother Metes, uh, nieces, two of them here. If they can stand. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. The other one was here. You were here yesterday. God bless you. We are happy to have you around. And uh, the elder brother uh, Landa and his family. Um, Sister Roda, when we made, we wanted to make you stand yesterday. You were not inside, so will you please stand so people can see you? <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Happy to see you all. Any other visitors you haven't acknowledged? God bless you. Today is the last day of our services. As you can see, I have no voice, so I can't even preach. So let the young men who can do the job. Do the I'm getting old. I shouldn't say in the presence. I shouldn't say that in the presence of elderly people. <laughs> Brother Landa is a man after my own heart. Hey, Brother Landa, Murume, and no Dacha is. So whether he talks or he sings, Langa Tauri and Aguimba, it's perfect. Quandiz, I can go knock, I forgot that. Amen. I just love the man. I don't know what the Lord did. And this is what I say. He's just a man that I love. I'm going to move and no da. He doesn't have to be wrong or right. I don't know what wrong and right. He just has to be Brother Landa. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. So I enjoy being at his house. Um, when I visit, you know, Brother Landa is 19 years older than me. Brother Landa, Mukuru, when they 19 years, so you know they are almost like parents. <laughs> 
is the age of my eldest sister. So when I go there, you know, Sister Landa is so motherly. Amen. Uh, it's, it's a place that I just feel like relaxing when I go there. So God bless you out there. Amen. 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 We just want to uh, go straight into our service. So what I'm service and also not forgetting to greet those who are connected online. <laughs> Wherever you are, may God bless you. We hope you are enjoying the atmosphere. We are being blessed down here in Johannesburg. In Midrand. Midrand. We are having such a wonderful time. Amen. 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 Um, I hope we enjoyed yesterday's service. I, it was the afternoon service was uh, so wonderful to me. I don't know about the morning. And <laughs> this Because usually when I preach, I have to go home and listen to the service over again. Because after preaching, I don't know what I've preached. So I have to sit down and listen. If it's one and a half, two hours, I have to listen to it over again. So when someone else is preaching, that's the best of my time. Because I enjoy it. Amen. Glory. If I could go back to be, um, when did I, I started preaching when I was 14. If I could back, go back to, four, to be 14, I wouldn't, make, I wouldn't want to be a preacher. And I would uh, maybe I would try music. Because I used to write songs and sing. Before preaching, uh, damaged my voice. <laughs> so I can't do anything now. Perhaps uh, we must. I must eventually find myself a seat in the back. And my wife, you know, we are grandparents. So we can sit with the grandchildren and, grandchildren. and have the young men doing the work. And want to thank those who came from across the border. So that we across the border. Brother Nkolokosa. Brother Nkolokosa. God bless you, young man. Mara kuitre shakana ka. Brother, Sister Linda. Sister Linda, God bless you. God bless you so much. And Sister Nolita, all the way from Cape Town. And Sister Nolita, from Cape Town. May God bless you. Mara kuitre shakana ka. We really enjoyed uh, your presence here. So may the Lord bless you. And of course, the elder and his family, thank you for being this occasion. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. So we just want to uh, stand to our feet. And sing a song. Are you able to cast it, maybe? No, um, there is no beautiful name than the name of Jesus. You know that song? Aliko Igam, Elit Lenjenga Lega Jesus. We want to sing that song. That we That's our brother's song. In brother. So because he's preaching, we want to call him with that song. Get by the day in each way. Amen. Igama.
mercy, dear Lord Jesus Christ. Even this morning, dear Lord Jesus Christ. We come before your throne of mercy, dear Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord Jesus, is your children, dear Father. We say there's no name that is beautiful like your name. Amen. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, we realize, Lord, that the time is at end. Oh, Lord Jesus, there's no other name that is beautiful than your name. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, we give all the praises unto you. We worship your holy name, dear Lord Jesus Christ. Even this morning, dear Lord, as your children, we are gathered, dear Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, not to hear from a man, oh, but to hear from you, dear Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, dear Father, may you move the lips of clay. Oh, dear Father, and express the divine thoughts this morning. We pray for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, since we have these services, dear Father, oh, Father, let it be a service that somebody can take something home. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, something that can make them hold on to something. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, we are under his protection this morning. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, may you speak to us as your children. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 If you, uh, you don't want to, me to speak, you must sing this song. It uh, usually takes me completely to a different direction. Amen. Amen. I'm thinking, my elders, um, of those times. Amen. Amen. I think of. Uh, Isaiah uh, chapter 6. Amen. Isaiah 6. Isaiah, you know, we say it's in, in, the, in, the, in the year where our king Osea died. I saw the Lord. Amen. Glory. And he sees the Lord. He sees, the Bible says, he sees the Lord at his throne. And his rain filled the temple. And while there seraphims there, they were singing, Holy, holy, Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. They're singing, Holy, holy, unto the Lord. You know, I tell my elder, I'm under this impression that uh, maybe. Beyond the curtain of time. I was one of those worshippers. And it, no, because the way I approach worship, at times it just makes me want to cry. And if you ask me why I'm crying for, it's not because I find myself very overwhelmed. Because there is no one like him. You know, it reminds me where I come from. From the deep Marie Clay. And you washed me. I said, no, I was not even worth it to stand before you. Because of him, he made us today. Amen. That's why I'm so grateful. I don't take this for granted. I'm very grateful. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 You would have loved the Lord saints this morning. Amen. 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 Let me come back. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I want us to, to, to have a look at something. Amen. We're just closing the thought that we had. Amen. Amen. Okay. You see, uh, if you were here, Amen. Um, Last week, Sunday, Last week Sunday, we started with the thought, amen. As I say, my elder revelation is progressive. Amen. Amen. And then on the midweek, we started with something again, amen. On a Friday, we look at the rapture, amen. So, today, I was thinking, you know, Lord, what is it that I can talk about to your children? Amen. amen. You know that the plans nicely to what which you have been saying to us. Amen. And something struck, struck my, my, my mind. Amen. 
I want to talk about this morning. Amen. Now I, I thought this is a very deep and involved subject. But we thank the Lord. Amen. Because we've got uh, teachers here. Amen. Amen. It will take us through this subject better than we so, can Amen. So because of what the Lord has given to me, my elder, I just hit the high spots. I hit only the high spots. Amen. I'm taking this thing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's because that's what is given to me. Amen. I'm not given like other people. Amen. Amen. I'm not given to say some other things. Amen. No, my brother, to your point. One, one, during the week, amen. Just to encourage you a little bit, my brother. The enemy came to me. I was waking, I woke up at what, three o'clock in the morning, my brother. You know, I was just thinking, oh Lord, uh, uh, Pastor asked me to start with the services. What am I going to say? Oh, the enemy came. Says, you see, you, you are preaching a violent God. <laughs> You're preaching, eh? You're preaching, God is angry. Why are you so angry? You're preaching a violent God. You must speak something nice. Hey, something nice to the people. Hey, your God is violent. Hey, I was sleeping there, my was three o'clock in the morning. Now I was saying, hey. And I started listening to uh, thinking of my sermon. Hey, hey, maybe because, ah, why? Ah. <laughs> maybe he's got a point. point. But something in me says, yeah. I am talking according to what is given to me. I say, Satan, I'm speaking according to what the Lord has given to me. Stay away from me. Hey. And I dozed off. Man. And I dozed off my elder. Hey, you can sit down a little bit. We just want to encourage my brother something. Do that you, know, uh, uh, you know, when I dozed off, something wonderful happened. I, I dreamt I was in, in a, a, a very nice uh, service. It was a, like a party. But it's a party where, where it's only people that you know. It was like a double story. double story Then I come in this uh, uh, environment. I told my wife when but I woke up in the morning. Then then I, it, there was a seat. There I, then I said, okay, the, this seat is not occupied. Let me sit here. Then I sat on the seat. Then I was sitting in the seat. And somebody pecked me at the back. I, like, oh, I thought maybe I'm sitting in somebody. Then, then somebody uh, said, hmm, why? Then after a minute, a minute, came three ladies. Elderly ladies. Then the other one was a man. Four in total. And when they come to me, the other one had a box. You box know this so box, we put uh, the, the rims of the uh, book on the, the printing paper. Now on this box, they bring it to me like in the box In front of me in the table. Then, then the other one brings um, a calabash. The calabash. There's something like a wine inside. He brings it in front of me. And then it sits right in front of me. And there are people around this table. It's only me who's getting this. Then as, as I was wondering what is happening. Then I look back. You know what I saw? I saw elderly parents. My four, five, my, my four parents. Those who slept. And now, as I looked, this one pecked me or kissed me on my forehead. The other one also kisses me on the forehead. This one also comes and kisses me on the forehead. And this other one, this gentleman comes and kisses me on the forehead. 
And I was, I was marveled with this. I was asking myself, what is happening? Then this is the point I want to come to my brother. Then they left. Then I, I, I started, what is in this box? Then I took out the stuff. It's things that you can eat. Then I shared with the ones that are sitting on the, on the table. table. You know what I got on the last one? My brother, I saw a beautiful Bible. That kind of Bible I've never seen. This Bible, my elder. Bible, Iri. Here. Iri. I tried to draw it to my wife. Here. It was like a fair. A fair, beautiful fair. When you put your hand like this, it's like a fair. When you open here, there's also some nice, beautiful decoration. Here are the three lines. As I smiled to this beautiful, beautiful Bible, Bible, I was consumed. And one of the people sitting on the table, they stretched their hands and wrote in this Bible, Bible was presented to Vuyani Novel. Bible was presented to Vuyani I realized that morning when I woke up. It is the confirmation. You praise what is given to you. Amen. Glory be to God. You praise what God has laid to you. He gives you a word. You speak what is in there. Glory be to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hey. Oh, I believe it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Glory. Paul even says it. Power must tell. He say he must walk. Hands do not follow. According to the way. My run and zero. You have been called. Yeah, we got that one now. Hey. Glory. Amen. So it took me. So I was going to say, you know, after the condemnation the devil has given to me. She said, I don't stand up for this issue. That dream. Who pays? Came to me. So I was going to say, you know. Consolation to me, my elders. Overwhelmed with a dream, I went to, to the park. No, this whole song. Amen. That struck me. You know which song? If when we give the best of our service, telling the world that the Savior is coming. Being not dismayed. When men don't believe you, he will understand. I say well done. Praise the Lord. Glory. I'm saying when I come to the end of the journey, where you of life and the battle is won. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Carrying the staff and the cross of redemption. Hey, he will understand. He will say, Well done. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hey, Amen. Amen. My brother, God will understand. No, carrying the cross. The cross is a difficult thing to carry. Eternal life is very expensive, my brother. Eternal life is very expensive. It comes to the cost. Amen. Amen. It comes to the cost. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. It comes at the cost. Eternal life is very expensive. Amen. Comes at the cost. Amen. Amen. And this morning, you know, last night I thought I'll quickly go through something. You know, the enemy did these things. There was so much noise. noise in outside, next, just next to our place. That noise was overwhelming. Noise, you young guys, and it was my people because of speaking. <laughs> and they were making so much noise. And up until I said, oh, let me rest. They will go and sleep and wake up. Then I woke up this morning. About three o'clock. Three o'clock. I said, no, the time has come. Oh, dear Lord Jesus, the last service. If you can give us something to hold on. And then it came to my mind. And you know, it, it blended together with what we are talking about. Now, the title that I want to approach this morning before we read the word. We want to think of this title. It's we're still on the same 
want to look at? He's going to say, my elder, the early time Hans is blending, is blending into eternity. Amen. Amen. We are still on the thought. But you want to want to approach. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very careful of what the Holy Spirit is doing. You know, when you saw one of the songs that we sang, it says, Amen. It says, Amen. It says, Amen. It talks about this place. Where we are going. Where my elder we're gonna find rest there. There is no rest in this world. But there's a place that is promised to us. Listen to what my elder. You know my elder was inspiration. That the Lord has given to you. Now look at the song that you said. He talks to exactly what I'm doing. You know, after he said, I said, the elder has spoken. There's no need for me to speak. I, I, I must just carry on. <laughs> Amen. Glory. If you listen to the song, it's very, very important. And you know, when you get this, you know, because I, I, I have been taught that in the mouth of two, they Amen. So we want to read just a few verses. I'm not a, uh, too fond of having lengthy verses. No, normally I read one or two verses. One or two. Then I'm uh, then in Africa they say like star of Arab. Hey, um, Africans are not our <laughs> show. <laughs> then I'm already yeah. Amen. If you uh, don't mind if you can just for a little bit uh, on our feet. Uh, we're going to read just uh, one verse. Amen. Amen. Listen to what this verse is saying. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Uh, we take it from verse 35. Matthew 24, 35. Amen. Let me just make sure we, we are in sync. Let me just make sure we are in sync. We just read one verse. Then, then we, we, we can sit down a little bit. So God, I don't And uh, you and me, we listen to what the Lord is saying. Amen. Amen. We trust the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, verse 24. Amen. If you found it, let's just read uh, verse uh, 35. Amen. 24, 35. Yeah, I've got it here open, but uh, I'm still paging. Um, listen to what it says. Heaven and earth shall pass. It says, heaven and earth shall pass away. But my words shall not pass away. Amen. 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 May the Lord uh, add blessing to the reading of this word. We can have a seat. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, where we reading? It says heaven and earth shall pass away, but my way will never pass. Amen. Amen. Can you see that? Now, that's just a supplementary to that. This verse is just one of those verses that I, I really like. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 18. Each this one, Paul chapter 4, verse 18. Paul spoke of the rapture. Uh, and he preached about the rapture. Paul speaks about the rapture. He brings the big page, the picture what's going to happen. Paul opened the picture as Chait Kapaku Futwa. And then he throws this line. Over Kandam Tarao. And this is the line I want to read. Do Pandura Wering. He says, Wherefore, comfort one another with his ways. So what I want to do today is just a little comfort now to, to show you where we are. We have seen the condition first where we were when we are talking about the, this, uh, the wise vision and the, the, the foolish ones. We also saw when we come into uh, 
in an encounter with Melchizedek. Then we went further and, and seen the coming of the Lord in terms of rapture. How we come to the closing scenes of this world. Now, in line with that, what is laid in my heart is that the earthly time is blended into eternity. It means what is happening. We are moving. We are on our journey. This every time is getting finished. We are blending into eternity. Amen. Glory be to God. If you remember very well, the last point that we finished with, we are looking at this bride and the prophet talking. He says he listened to all what Christian soldiers. Amen. And he saw this bride was coming. He says he watched it. The bride came through and it passed. He saw nicely Satan Christian. Amen. To address properly. Praise the Lord. And he says he watched them. He started going down. They started going up. They started going up. They started going up. Amen. Amen. Listen to what he says. He says, then I saw two or three of them taken out of the way. He said, I stood up and said, stay in line. Stay in line. Stay in line. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's where we were. Amen. Stay in line. So as we're going up, turn. We are changing. Now turn is blending into eternity. Amen. Amen. So this time Gubai. is coming to an end. This time Gubai. is going to blend Itanopinda. into eternity. Amen. 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 You know, my elder, I was thinking, say, Lord, what is these sermons? And it seemed to sound to rhyme a little bit. It's a pattern. You know, this morning, my brother, something struck me. He says, look at this. This way. Hey, amen. Then he says, look at this, a tour guide. And the Tarisa says a tour guide. Now, as a tour guide, tour guide. Know what a tour guide does? No, they have to a tour guide. Stand like this. I don't mean that. They say, explain to you. Where we are. Patiri. And you can see where you are. Uh, we're going to take a journey. You must understand. Uh, uh, firstly, he tells you where you are. Amen. Amen. What is that? The wise and the foolish version. Then he says to you, uh, what you have to do, you must have a safety gear. Because this talk, we want to make sure that you are safe. Then what you do, if you need to have a boots, you quickly go and get your boots and tighten your boots. What is that? An encounter with Melchizedek. You prepare him for this chain. What you do, you make sure you've got a Holy Ghost. Amen. Then he says to you, in a case of emergency, these are things that we have to do. If you see a bear or see this dangerous animals, uh, don't move away. Stand still. Give it time. Amen. It will go. Amen. Amen. And you know, it gives us those safety tips. Safety tips you are. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Then he is showing us things to come shortly. Amen. What is that? He shows you this journey. It may not be one of the easy journeys. But when the enemy attacks, look up. Don't move around. The battle is not yours. Amen. Hey. Praise the Lord. Amen. Then, then he gives you the last thing. Amen. He says to you, uh, he tells you what you're going to see. Then he comes to you. He tells you the end of the 
Then he says to you, oh, when the, the toy is ended, I may not be with you. But that's how the talk will end. You will be received. There will be somebody receiving you. This person will offer you some refreshment. Then you can untie your boots. Rest. And we'll be at home. Can you see that? Then I thought, okay, this sounds very well. And what will happen in the end, in this case, is our future home. Where we will sit and rest. Hey Amen. Amen. You know my brother. You know what struck me there? You say something struck me. And it God really made me cry, my pastor. He says the tongue is the holy, the, the tithe is the Holy Ghost. Amen. The tithe is the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. We are walking in this journey. But the Holy Ghost is walking along us. He will remind us things. He will show you the wrong things are happening. Amen. Amen. It is this kind. That will take us home. Amen. Amen. Say, oh Lord. It is this guy. What is this guy? It is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the guide. Praise the Lord. He will show you things to come. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Strike me. Say, oh Lord, I thank you. You know, then he started, you know, this thing I'm bundling. I'm Do sure you understand. You know, he, he took me to a, a different direction. Say, so when, you, when you want to, to marry a sister, yeah. Yeah, and you, just follow me on this one. He says, um, the, the process, amen. Um, the process, yeah, uh, you. Brother Ami. Brother Ami. <laughs> uh, no, the process is this. Process in the The first process. You know, if you um, combine with the wrong person, it will affect your eternal destiny. Yes. Uh, Listen to what he says. And this is a thought we're projecting now. If firstly, you know, you know, be a prayerful brother. And then maybe perhaps you're thinking of this sister. And before you approach her, you must be prayed up. Because you can make the biggest choice no. of your life. And it's the same for a sister. You can take a brother only to find out you have taken the worst person. That will even make sure you act out of character. You, be, you take out the beast. That you never knew he existed. <laughs> I see my brother is laughing. <laughs> Amen. Now, one of the things that I've learned, if you prayed up, now you come and investigate. Hey, the sister. She's a nice person. But where does she come from? I know, baby. Okay, let me check the parents. We can both have a big question. Because the parent will tell you a story about the child. Then you see, hey. Uh, the parent, the father is a minister. Okay. The minister in the message. All oh, right. Not bad. The mother. Hey. All right. God bless <laughs> Amen. Amen. Then, then you, you study. You, you, start. you investigate. We investigate. Then you see, okay, it's, it's in sync. After, after this, my brother. You know? Then when you pray it up, then you, you, you make a friendship. My pastor, maybe uh, I might be a bit wrong there, but you might help me. You know, I don't believe. And it's 
In this lengthy courtships, that doesn't have an end. A person is known by God. That's why before you go to her, you must be prayed up. You know, you find in the message, people have been five years in courtship. Five years. Five years. They carry on up until this courtship Ten sour. Then they come with another. No, no, you know how wicked the believers are. They don't call it friend. They don't call it courtship. They call it a friendship. Because they want to be comfortable. To be on the safe side. But when you analyze it, it's in actual courtship. You know what's courtship, my brother? It's when you circle a sister for your private engagement. Can you see that? Now you circle a sister for your private engagement. For your private engagement. It means she must not have a look this side and this side. She must focus. It is actually courtship. You may call it friendship. The devil has misled you. Amen. Amen. You know, the devil mislead people. That's why, my pastor, you see the power of a white horse rider. Then you find before the brother marries, he has been in 20 friendships. It's because that's how we got things done at times here. Amen. Amen. And I'm saying this as a brother, and in, in turn, I'm trying to, to say to your sister something. Don't let yourself be circled by a brother without intention. A brother, when he comes to you, must have a clear mind. It is your assumption as your sister that when he comes to you, he's brighter. And it is your responsibility to, to go and pray. And still come say, brother, no. And you are a good brother. But thank you. God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. You are still entitled to, to say, to say no. no. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. And that's what has to happen Those in you. this process. process. Hey, my brother. Amen. You know, I'm discouraging these things for a purpose. A, a brother has not worked. Has already promised the sister to marry. When do you think this thing is going to end? When is it going to end? Amen. Amen. It's not going to end now. If it takes brother five years to get married, to, to get a job years. or get a, a formal income, you see that coaching will be failing five years. Most of the it's five years. And the Bible says in the book of uh, Ephesians. Bible, not in Ephesians. Chapter four, verse twenty-seven. Chapter four, twenty-seven. It says, "Must not give the enemy." A chance. So in that five years, five years, it's you and the devil. Satan playing hide and seek. You may laugh. Is this serious? Is this serious? After that, then you have to pay your lobola down. No, my brother, you must say. Put it together. And then you know. When you approach a sister, you've got your things in order. You know, I don't know why I'm talking to you, my brother. But while I'm here, let me rather finish it. You know, when Isaac, Isaac met with Rebecca, the Bible says, Isaac, Isaac, he was in the field. What was he doing? He was working. I saw him dagger. Hey, man. Lord. So it means he was getting things done. I do it as well. Because he's expecting a, a bride. I don't tell Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, I'm just uh, trying to get somewhere. But, 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 and this is the point I want to. But, go point to. The, the, the After this, my elder, then the brother must be sober in his mind. Then he says, when this sister comes, where is she going to sleep? Here? 
That is it. I must make a plan. Before I a plan. You know, it doesn't have to be a mansion, my brother. If I don't get it mentioned, quick. But it must be a place. As if I didn't dream. Where she can feel like a woman. Not under your mother's place. It's not your place. It's your parents' place. It says, a man Murume. shall. Hey, Amen. 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 You know the scriptures. Hey. And what? It doesn't say, he shall get married then leave. As we it says, he, he shall. First you leave. Hey. So when the sister comes, it, 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 maybe, maybe still at home. But you must have a place. A, a, a house. Imba. If, if, you know, it tells him we come from villages, we've got big places. Build a nice house for her. Here. When she can feel like a woman. Yeah, then you know. What do you do? Wait a say. When you go and tell her. Uh, I, I call mine Miskat. Hey, Miskat is my love. I say, Miskat, there's a place. That the Lord has given to me. That place. You'll see it when we get married. Amen. Amen. Uh, my brother, uh, just, just to, the sister didn't see the place before she guessed. Leave this nonsense. Amen. Bring the sisters in and out of the house. When this courtship ends, you bring the other <laughs> one. When this, can you see? Oh, maybe that's called a friendship. <laughs> <laughs> then you bring her to this house. You know what happens? Then when she gets here, uh, by holy matrimony, before you touch her, before you touch her, you know, when you touch a sister before you get married, you know what you do? By that, Amen. you are allotting shares. Mm. Of your marriage, a part of those shares to the enemy. Mm. Then you must know you have taken a piece of the shares and 33%, let's call it 33%. 33% uh, because now you are equal shareholders. Uh, Satan. Satan. Me and the sister want to get married. Uh, but uh, we thought. This contract is not right. But the contract here, you know, it is between me and her. Mm -hmm. So we want you mm -hmm. to have shares mm -hmm. in this marriage. Mm -hmm. You know what happens? Mm -hmm. At any given point in time, mm -hmm. the devil Satan. can call a meeting. I don't know, that's a meeting. While you are having a nice part time mm -hmm. in the park, mm -hmm. the enemy says, it's nice, no? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Enjoying yourself. Mufara. Okay, can you come for a meeting? We are, we are meeting. <laughs> <laughs> because it's got voting rights. Anima, anima rights, anima shares. You remember? Rangarai. You did one, two, three. Magata is game. Yeah. Eh, right. You gave me right. Eh, Magan Pamkana. I actually I've got the right didn't, didn't, didn't fumo. to spoil this mood. But in the Kangan is a Zulu Mufaro. Hey, remember when you got married? Right? Rangara Pokaro. You slept with him. Pogara and I again. Remember? And he spoiler. Spoiler, spoiler, Now it says to you. You know, when he's laughing with you like this. You know this lady. She's not virtuous. She was able to sleep with you. Before you married her. So when you are not here with your going somewhere with work. How do you trust him? You trust him. If she's not loyal to God, if this brother is able to sleep with you before, how many people will he be able to sleep? Because he doesn't have a regard for God. Can you see that? It's things that the enemy through this white horse rider creeps in. And you know what? Because of that, because the marriage is still death to do us apart. 
Amen. Now he's, he's a third person. Anytime you feel him, you are too spiritual. The enemy comes to you. boy <laughs> Since you are doing it too much, me and you will know. You are not as good as you think. You know, that's the only time you must be sincere, my brother. Because this thing of marriage, after 60 years, you married to the sister. The enemy still brought that to share. After 60 years, 60 years Maro, he still comes and says, I've got blood. You can, you can cast him all you want. He will still come. Say, I cast him all you want. He will still come. Say, my brother, you, you, you may cast me. I'll go. Say, my brother, you, you may cast me. I'll go. But I, I'm holding shares. I'll come back. And when I come, I'll cast him all you want. He will still come. Say, my brother, you may cast me. I'll go. But I'm holding shares. I'll come back. And when I come, I'll cast him all you want. He will still come. Say, my brother, you may cast me. I'll go. But I'm holding shares. Yeah, you are studying here, my brother. Okay, Preaching. Uh, and he was like, my brother. Hey, I'm doing too much now. <laughs> <laughs> you look, look at your wife. <laughs> uh, you know, you slept before you met. <laughs> you hugged and kissed. Mm -hmm. uh, you, actually, you were unclean. So, turn it down. <laughs> because now the enemy. <laughs> Let me show you, as a minister now. Some of you will call, will call you for this, this thing. As a minister. you for this this thing. As a minister. You know, your, your, your preaching must be amen first by your wife. Yeah. If she cannot amen it, can you imagine what's going to happen? That's why you must be sober yeah. and sensible. Hey, man. But we are not there. Hey, man. I was just saying for the benefit of my preaching. Hey, amen. Amen. Hey, amen. Because he likes him a lot. I mean, how many likes him? Yeah. Amen. Okay, let's, let's put it say how many love him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Lord you know the worst thing that can ever happen, not to be faithful and loyal in the house of God. And that's what and marry a wrong person. Takes you completely. Takes you completely out of the problems. Okay. Amen. Now this way we we go here. Now, my elder, we are going to the future home. After you go to a sister, my sister, there's a place. I am prepared for me and you. Amen. Where we will stay forever. Once this process stands, the parents get involved. What is happening? Time is blending into Eternity. Amen. Amen. What is happening? Time is blending. It's moving. Up to a future home. Amen. Amen. It is the same thing that our Lord Jesus Christ has done. Amen. Amen. Send the Holy Ghost. Amen. To come and say, we are brother, we are going somewhere. Then he goes to John chapter 14. John 14. He says, I'm going. I'm going to make a place for me and you. And where I'm going so that you can be with me. Hey, man. Amen. What is happening? He prepares this place. Hey, man. Listen to what the prophet says, my elder. Hey, I like this one. Hey, listen to what the, the prophet says. I'm sure my brother will relate better to this. Yeah, you'll, I'm sure you'll relate better. Hey, listen to what the prophet says. Let's quickly see. Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, we are talking about this one. Amen. Hey, Listen to it. And he preaches on this future home. You know, the future home of the bridegroom. The heavenly. And the earthly bridegroom. Listen to what he says. I'm sure you like it, my brother. Amen. He says, now, Gino. the divine architect, Hans, Uyo, architect uh, 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 Muchene, has designed Agazira. a new city. Guta Ija. Where we live with us, bride, Quite his bride, isumwenga. just to her touch. You know, he is thinking of you as, as you're going. 
You know, I like a diamond ring. And did you not know that check out a diamond ring? I paid my brother a diamond ring. Yeah, I like a diamond ring. What is a diamond ring? It must not be expensive. <laughs> okay, then you say, no, it would be nice to, no, I don't have, it doesn't have to be a big place. And if I let the matter go to the stage, don't go to the stage, don't go to the stage. My brother, it's not expensive. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then you get a place. Oh, that's nice. Amen. Amen. And when he gets there, Palo Chicago. She sees Anona. all these things. So she sees. She was talking about. Oh. Amen. 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 This is exactly what we're waiting for. Do, do right? This is what the heavens is waiting for. Do, do, right? do, 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 do. Exactly what your heart desires. Hey, As you go along the process, the Holy Spirit, the guide, He's looking into you, into your heart desires, and He plans. Your internal activity. Your specification. Glory. You know, that's how God do so my, do my He gives you exactly what he wants. Amen. Amen. Then he says, you know, my elder, you, you, you look at these things. And what you, maybe let me take. My, my precious brother, little bit. You can tell him, man. No, last year I heard when he was talking. Last year, I do this. He said he made a commitment to himself. I'm going to do this. For my wife. You know, he took him a whole year. The whole year. Whole year. Yes. 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 You know, when uh, this come to pass, you know who was excited? The sister was excited. But he was more excited. Because he fulfilled the promise. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. Amen. And it is exactly the same thing. You know, when we get there, our Lord Jesus Christ will be happy more than you. Amen. Because he would have fulfilled his promise. Amen. 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 Glory. So I'm not preaching on uh, the preacher home, and I know, I know people you want to you to talk about preacher home. And the the prophet prophet said, the the prophet said, no, 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 no. Wait. You have it. Munao. You know, when I, I know I asked the Lord, Lord, this subject is a big subject. Subject is subject to How do I? Talk about this subject. You know, we want to study this. Don't tell us you want to bring yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 big uh, notes. In you know, uh, something came to me. And I believe the Spirit of the Lord. He says, What do you want to do? This message, message. is already preached. You don't have to preach this message. How the message? Because this message, message was already preached. And for your information, Amen. you can never preach it to that standard. But your assignment, and, and that's what has, uh, humbled me. See, you know what your assignment? Assignment is your assignment. Assignment is to make this message. Without message, it makes sense to my children. It makes sense to an arm. That's your assignment. Do assignment here too. So don't go and try to preach rapture. Make sure this rapture means something. That's our assignment. Your assignment hey, to make sense of this message. Amen. Hey, make sense. Praise the Lord. Glory. To make sense make of sense. this message. Hey, you hey, make sense. You know, if you want to preach the same message, Can I tell part of the message we'll you fail with points. You know? We'll fail with points. Because we, you want to compete with a man. Don't compete on the moon. Hey, listen to this, my elder. Listen, we want to compete to a man. Don't with compete on the moon. That when he didn't understand the subject, we would buy sand. This is a subject. He will break into a vision. I pin the maturity. You want to do that? Those are now. Those are now good tonight. Don't you think it's unfair competition? I, 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 I,
understand. One day he had an issue. He saw these brothers. This one speaks in tongues. And this one also speaks in tongues. Then he, when he goes deeper, and he sees this one, hey man, hey, something is not adding up. Hey man, how is it possible? Hey, how is it possible? How is it possible? Then he comes to the right. How? Why is it not the same? Because this one is right. This one, there's something wrong. He stayed with him. Up until one day, it breaks into a vision. Now you tell me how you're going to compete. <laughs> with your humble efforts. With the dreams that you forget in the morning. <laughs> it's unfair. But he says. There's a place for us. this mighty man who will come after me who will make sense no, he is talking about fivefold ministry who will come and make sense now other people because of this thing because God gave him a little bit of inspiration he says no when we are saying that he was talking about men I'm uh, actually I'm the one. Dini, Dini, I'm supposed to come profit. It's my turn. Yeah, hey, I'm I don't want to say other things. I just leave it. Hey. No one, our responsibility is to make things. Make sense. Amen. Should make sense. What do we have? Amen. You have a bridegroom preparing future home according to the specification. Of the bride. This is supposed to make you feel happy. Because there is a place. That is prepared for you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. This, this place is prepared. For me and you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know. When I think of that place. You know. Uh, the other brother. <laughs> Amen. The other brother, says, my brother. You want to go Hey, my brother. Brother, uh, just not to bother you too much. If you know me and me, we like square hunting. Most of the in the went to far down no vima masquero. If indeed uh, prevent, <laughs> uh, don't we die? Or we go? Are we still going to hunt? What kind of vima say? You know, must we are like square hand. Yeah. No, no, we must say it. Are we, are we going to run? Hey, my brother Bram says, hey, my brother, wait. Let me explain to you this. Hey, what if they say to you, in your previous life, you are a frog, and now you are a human being? Would you like to go back to a frog? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that? Mm. What is awaiting us? Listen to what Paul says. Listen to what he says. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen to what he says. Hey, man. It's a very big subject. I've got a subject. lot of pages here. One page. Uh, one day, I'm sure the pastor and my elder will take us through. I, I just want to encourage you on this. Thing. And listen to what Paul says. Listen to it. He says, in the book of Corinthians, first Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. It says, but it is as it is written. Eyes have not seen. No ear. Head. Neither have it entered in the heart of man. And that which the Lord Iso. has in store. What is can you see this? He says, I have not seen. Yes, I have not yet. Neither have it entered in the heart of man. That which the Lord has in store. To those who love him. Amen. 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 So, this heaven. 
the future home is something that your eyes have not seen. Your ears have not heard. Your, your heart can never conceive. Amen. That is a place that is waiting for us. Can you see that? There is a place, my sister. After this toils of this day, my elder, there is a place Amen. waiting for you. According to your specific. Can you see this? Praise the Lord. Amen. It says, neither your eyes and ears. And even your heart will never understand that which the Lord has in store. Amen. Glory. We are trying to paint this picture, my elder. We are trying to paint this picture. You know, it's a very lengthy subject. Now, and we want to just we sum it up. We are talking about the foolish visions. Remember? Amen. Then we are talking about the encounter with Melchizedek. Then we talked about the rapture. Now, as time uh, blends into eternity, what we see, you know, when you're driving, you are going to a distant uh, country, place, and you know, there's that hill, or that place, when you turn, you start seeing the place, what is in your heart? He says, I'm here, I'm here, half of a time, a lot of accidents, my accident. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They say he was almost home. Mm -hmm. You know what happened? Mm -hmm. The Islam mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. Islam mm -hmm. has left. Biggest enemy mm -hmm. for a believer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. But what's important? Keep the Holy Ghost. Hey. Now this, this place Mm -hmm. Did you see what I was saying? I was talking about my marriage with the sister. Typing what I'm trying to talk about. Now, look, look what is happening. In this house, it's me and my sister. Nobody else. Can you see that? In that house, it's the bride and Jesus Christ. Because he went to build that place for the bride. Now where is the foolish virgin? Mm. Outside the economy. Mm. Can you see that? Can you see that? The foolish virgin is the bride. The foolish virgin is they knew the codes. They could code more than you. They would code Pranabranam from the beginning of service up to the end. But there was no representation inside. Listen to what the scripture says. It says, listen, it's a Revelation chapter 21. But we're taking only the last verse. It says, just last portion. It says, but... They, which are written in the Lamb's book of life. So, in the book of life, there is a portion that's the Lamb's book of life. And these people who are going to this city, is that portion because it's a bride. And the bride Always make yourself ready. You know, my pastor looks at, at, at like uh, examples. He took my example yesterday. <laughs> the story <laughs> that he told <laughs> is a story that I, I really like. Because the bride, there are people saying, My brother cannot make it. My brother. If you take yourself and compare with others, there's a level of wickedness that you have that is above this one. So you're outside the economy. 
You know, there was a sister. Pana You know, because she was known with the wrong things. You know, that's that's what I find to be interesting in the message. Those who didn't know that she a message. You know, message believers. But in the message, may God help us. Marat Batil. The most unforgiving believers. Ndomba kuneva tende wasinga regereri ko. I find it strange. Do not see Shami say, My sister, my sister, brother, Mama. you can do something in 2014. In 2014. In 2014. You remember Brother Charles? Brother Ray, Brother Charles. No, the one who's preaching. No, no, no. Be Brother Charles. Brother Charles. Oh, be Brother Charles. Yes. You are next to Brother Charles. Because that's how wicked believers are. Don't we ever go into a market? They are very wicked. Mm. You know, my brother. What's your name? They don't remember you by good sermons. But you remember you by a wrong. Mm. Can you see the wickedness? What are we? Hey, which sister? Yeah, that one was. No, no, no. Yeah, she was engaged to the other. No, no, she had the other one. <laughs> yeah. That's what they choose to, to remember. Those are not Saruts of Rangarira. That's how wicked people are. Don't be wrong, go to one. And these people that are wicked, Van Wakaipa, they are here. Van Pan amongst us. Pagat Bedu. May Lord help us repent. Amen. To see a child of God. Wona Mona Mari. For what they are. Mona Sha. A child of God. Mana Waman. Amen. Lord. Amen. Now this woman. Was of ill fame. More than the rabbis. And the evangelist. She had the representation. Can you see? You may see that brother or sister being wrong. And find that she has a representation more than you. It will be best for you to stay humble. Amen. So, at times, he may not be the most richest brother. You know, in Pentecostal, I come from Pentecostal. Pentecostal. You know, when he comes to Pentecostal, you know, when Paul says, I, I, I am uh, the, the Pharisee of Pharisees. When you come to Pentecostal, I am the Pentecostal of Pentecostal. Yeah? Pentecostal. You Amen. can't tell me anything about Pentecostal. Pentecost because I was there. From seven years. Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. I started seven years. Sunday school there. I started Sunday school in Pentecostal church. So I've seen Pentecostal. The cow on a Pentecost. Changing throughout the time. It is Sandu connect from a You know, in Pentecostal we are not Pentecostal brother. We're not customary. Amen. To to see happening. So we don't have to see it. Women preachers, but the marriage party, the trousers, my trousers. It was something strange. So was really strange. But today, I see nothing. That at the top. Ja, 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 pam soro. Kuma wambo, ja isha misa kuona ona chipeke juru. Asi kujuno ja pam soro. And that same spirit. Me amo chete wo. Is starting to creep into the message. Wapo tanga upin the message, mchana mchana. You know, uh, strange things. Chuzuno cha misa. That you never thought existed. Do exist in the message. Mm. Shocking things. You know, up to that stand that the other one says, um, this thing that I hear is not even among the unbelievers. Mm. This thing that you're doing is not even among the unbelievers. But those things, as soon as also, you find them here. It's very seldom to find a Pentecostal preacher. They are consumed with prosperity. December, December. December, December. December, December. December, December. December, December. Your thing is coming. They are consumed with them. You, you are consumed with bashing another preacher. You will come. Open the scripture. Listen to what is happening. Message. Let, let me just take a, a, a scripture. Uh, the twelve gates were. Uh, the twelve gates 
Masu watu kwa rufaya anga ari ma anga ari mapels tuwa. There's a pell for each and every gate. Panga pa ine pell for each and every gate. Can you see that? Bruce one. Then after pick up that, you really listen to what I'm saying. Munda nato. Then, just out of that. Kuvaba ne zozo. Then I take Brad Charles. Doctor Brad Charles. And make him a subject of my. Do I just subject? Yes, Simone. These things. So no. But you don't find. So I think I want it. Even amass and believe. But you find them today in the message. People who are supposed to know better because they've got a better revelation. But today it has been a common thing. May God help us. Amen. Now we are painting the picture. Let's paint the picture and we close. Amen. I think we are just right there. Amen. Now when he paints the picture, can I explain the picture? Listen to what the 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 Bible says in Revelation 21. Revelation 21. It paints a picture of this city. Remember, remember, paint the picture a good time. My brother, my sister. Amen. If there's anything I can persuade you, I wish I could persuade you only on this point. I and I go na kukunyengere raonas. You know what we are saying? Abraham was looking. For the city and with the foundations, Abraham, the good who the builder and maker was God. And the prophet says by revelation, Abraham, Abraham had an idea that was sitting was somewhere in Jerusalem. He was so jaded, like pilgrims. He had been living in tents, but looking for the foundation, the city with the foundation, who the builder and maker is. God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Listen to what the Bible says. It says in the book of Revelations. No, when he paints a picture of the foundation. the picture. Abraham. Abraham had a, a, a vision of this. There's this city. I'm looking for. But John. John. Paint the picture. the picture. Says, now when Abraham. When Abraham. Was looking for the city, and it says with the foundation. Remember, the nail. Indeed, the foundation. Choko adi pan iriko foundation. And this foundation, foundation ni, is there are twelve. It go from a foundation. It makes up those twelve pillars. From a foundation to go far. And these pillars, my pillar. What are they? Chi. You know the Bible puts nicely. Bible no matter what you say. Some nice. Precious metals. I have a picture of this. It says the other one was made of jasper. Amen. Foundation. It's a very a, expensive. It don't burn no dura. Mineral. Amen. It don't burn no dura. It's not jasper. It's made of just jasper. The foundation is good. It can get through. It's jasper. Then it gives you other. This of this Mama, uh, precious metals. You have Bible readers, you see that. Amen. Then he says, it, then there's a foundation. Has the foundation in. Then he says, when you look, when you look at this place, when you look at the, 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 the walls, Mama Zirajo, the walls are out of jasper. Amen. Amen. The walls are covered with jasper. Can you see that? Muzon. And when you look deeper, he sees this, 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 this city. Mona Guta is made out of gold. Raka gadro ne goride. And not just a pure a gold, my elder. But the gold the range na majera ge. The highest quality of gold. Quality e pam soro soro e goride. To the extent that. Kushka pe guti ga. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Tens Jesus Christ. Didn't want. Mamba asingari. His pride. When go out. To walk on anything. Yeah. But walk on the As you do for gold. That's a place. Don't jimbo. That is promised for me. Yeah. Is this city Gutail. made of gold? You walk on this city. No, you farm up a gold. Clear, pure gold. Gold. Hey, but it's a letter. It's a, it's a place. In Jimbo. But it's promised. Yeah. For me and you. Listen to what he says. I'm going to build this mansion. And this mansion, those mansions, so that you can have a better life. You know, a man with his humble mind 
try to build a mansion. Look at the most expensive mansion you can ever see. And that mansion, it's a mockery. It is a mockery. When you compare to the wise master. When you take that expensive with millions of billions. That mansion, mansion. When you compare with it. It's a mockery. That's why I tell my elder. I don't understand why you want to. Cover, have so many things on this world. Whereas the real thing is coming. No. What? My sister. You've got, most of us here, we've got 30 years to live. Be honest with each other. Because you are dying people. In 30 years. In 30 years time. What do you want to accumulate? That is waiting for you. Can you see that? It's because the enemy wants to keep us busy with material things. Listen, this. It says the city was made of it's pure gold. You see, it says like unto the grass. Clear grass. It says the, the foundation of this jasper. And the foundation is the jasper. Now, uh, that's why the prophet says predestination looks back to foreknowledge. Listen to what is happening. There is also 12 gates. And each and every gate know how you peel up. You peel up when the Israelites were going to Canaan. My Israelites behind our Canaan. You remember he said that the three must be this side, the three must be this side, the three must be this side. You the three must be this side. It's the same. Setup. Now, each every side has three doors that goes into the city. Three doors on the east side, south, west, and the north. Amen. Amen. Now I want to show you predestination, my elder. Levi. Levi. Before he was born. As a tajaro. He paid time. time. In his in his grandfather's loins. Before he was born. Now. Gino. Before he was born. There was a gate in the new Jerusalem that is made for him. There was this also an angel ordained to stand there before he was born. If you can receive it, can you see how deep it is? It's very deep because he had a representation. Amen. Amen. Can you see that? Even, even swapping of hands. You know, when, when, when Jacob was swapping hands, there's something deep. He swapped hands. When you look at these two brothers, Dan and Ephraim, Dan and Ephraim were not ordained to it. The Bible says they were brought it up. Amen. Amen. It means their names when they were there. not there. Let's close this. Amen. I think we have a picture. Amen. We have a picture, picture that we want to paint. Amen. What am I saying to, to our precious elders? Brothers and sisters. This, this, this world just coming. This is this new world. This new earth. And the new heaven coming down. Can you see that it is new Jerusalem? Amen. Coming down. And we know that this world. Go and read it. This world. It's gonna change. Amen. It's gonna change. It's gonna, change. It's gonna have its own baptism of fire. To position it. 
to that state. Amen. And that's why I was too close. We won't finish it, but I think you got it. Amen. You know, my, my pastor, this village, a village, or the New Jerusalem, and a Jerusalem I enjoy. that is made for a bread. Uh, something about it. It's made for the bride. Amen. Amen. And for you to qualify that, you've got to be the bride. Can you say that? Hey, let, me, let me give you just the square meters. How, how, how big this, this city the Bible talks about. You know, because most of us from Zimbabwe, let me give you a picture. You know, brother, that city. How, how how big is the city? If you take Cape Town, you go to Harare. You go past Harare. You know, that's how the land you're talking about. And, and you have to have it square. Now, Man. if you have it more or less, we're looking at the southern Africa. Southern Africa, yes. The southern part of South Africa. Can you see that? That's the city. We are talking about. Don't you want to book a stand there? Don't you want to book a stand How do you stand there? Such a big building. Such a big place. From Cape Town. From Cape Town. Up to Harare. Harare. Past Harare. Pura Harare. And go in the side. And go in the side. Don't you want to book a place there? How do you dream? How do you book a place there? How do you dream? How do you dream? But there's a requirement. You've got to have that encounter. Amen. With the king of Salem. King of Jerusalem. And I just want to read this and I finish. And this is my parting note. Amen. Amen. Listen to what uh, 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 Paul says. Wherefore let me read it for you. I like it when I read it. Amen. 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 Wherefore, Amen. comfort Amen. one another with this words. Amen. Shall we pray? Amen. 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 In bright mansions above, in bright mansions She's about Lord, I want to live out your night in bright about. Do you know the song? What is there in the end? It says in bright mansions about and Lord, I want to live up yonder. In bright nations. Hey, it is my heart's desire that we all get there. The Bible says this bride has made herself ready and has made herself ready for that day. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's my heart's desire again. That we can take this matter serious. The Holy Ghost is trying to say something to us. The Holy Ghost is saying to us the time is blended into eternity. The hour is late. In bright Thank you.
stop. The services are coming to an end. I want you to take stock. The Bible says, Wherefore, comfort each other on these ways. It's an encouragement to you. Oh, my precious brother. Oh, my precious sister. Amen. The time is late. The evening time has come. Time is getting ready to blend into eternity. Oh, what are you waiting for? Let's take this minute. Amen. Just a minute. Do an introspection. Give a person next to you. That person doesn't carry heaven for you. That day it will you and God. Get on these things. and gave sense and caused them to understand reading. Amen. Glory. We thank God for preaching that gives sense. Now when the preacher said we cannot preach it like it was preached. It's already preached. But I want to give it sense. So that the word becomes a life within us. More than anything else, we should be living scripture. Written epistles, read of all men. That makes us candidates for that eternal city. Amen. What a closing sentence. Amen. May God bless our brother. We are not here to stay. The Bible says we are only given 70 years. And if by reason of strength we go beyond that, just a little bit. But otherwise our limit is 70. Now think of yourself. 
Jifungei wewe. I just have about 13 years to go. In the zero on 13 years. If, but that is if I ever live up to that. Dijo kana ndikashika wapa se the Lord doesn't come before then. Isheva satiba uya. Think of yourself there. How much longer do you have? Why don't you say, Lord, help me? If things have not worked so well for me in this world, but I want to be there. I want to make it. Because this that we are in is a shadow of a shadow of a shadow of the real thing. We are blending into eternity. Getting across that bridge from that which is called time into eternity where we get back to where we were before the world began. Don't you want to be there? Don't you want to be there? If when you give the best of your service, tell in the world that the Savior has come, be not dismayed when men don't believe you. He will understand and say, Well done. Oh, when I come to the end of my journey. We are aiming for the end of the journey to enter into that city where the Lamb is the light. The Lamb is the light. We cannot stay here any longer. Even if we want to, but the tooth of time is now into your life. You used to be a beautiful little girl. If you walk down the road, then a man would turn their heads. But today, you are just another woman passing by. You used to be a man. That people looked at you ad- admirably. But today, you stand there. You are just another old man. What is happening? The tooth of time. Because this life is not eternal. It's got a beginning. It's got an end. You were born to die. I was born to die. I won't be here longer. There will come a day when the mourners will go down the road and people will mourn and people will scream people will give testimonies people will say all sorts of things but the effect of the miracles I won't be there and things will still go on like I, like I never existed The house I live in, another will live in there. That's what this life is like. The car you are driving, before you are even buried, some people will be arguing over who is They will be drinking in that car. They will be smoking in that car. Someone will be going around taking women in that car. Until the guy himself will complain of a strange behavior he's never seen. Before you are buried. That's how rough this life is. And we spent 
everything. Trying to satisfy the demands of this life. These 16 elements of dust. This is going nowhere. It's going back into dust. Dust thou art. And unto dust shall thou return. People will view those beautiful lips. And look at you. And shake their heads. And go past the casket. And you'll be standing at attention. Lying at attention. Looking up to heaven where you said there was no God. It's no time to go anywhere. When I fall sick, it's a barrel that tells you you can't do what you do every day. You can't go to work. You can't eat what you want to eat. You can't go where you want to go. Even if you take the worst drunkard, when he is sick, he doesn't even want to drink. If you take the worst womanizer, because there are people who forget their addresses when they, when they, they drive out of the gate. They will end up at another woman's house and house. think it's their home. Even if you are like that, when you are sick, you won't even want to see those women. The man will be there in the account. It can't buy you one more I minute of life. I could that man can buy you a big round bed. Mario, you know, take us in bed, but it won't buy you sleep. I would take it open. It can buy you a mansion. You know, take a mansion, but it won't buy peace in that. I would take it a guy. You just need a one female mosquito. You know, that mosquito is the one to bite you. You know, the anophilus. And when it stings you, things begin to deteriorate. Your educational certificates will be My there. Certificate they won't help you out of But there is a future home for the children of God. That's why we have realized we may have been to school, we may have big jobs, we have seen it all. After everything is said and done, there is a heaven to go to. There is a hell to run away from. Repent or perish. Now it's late. We can't afford to be anything else. This is real, brothers. This is not a chocolate. What the preacher was preaching. You tell him this is not chocolate. It's real life. If who pays you tell what chocolate man? If there was a pill, that if you took it, it would live for a hundred years. Why not? One hundred years. People would fly to wherever it is and buy it. Just to live a hundred years. hundred years and die after that. Both from sure a hundred years. But this gospel. Show quality. Gospel. When you take it, it's for eternity. Think of it. I'm an old man, I'm a grandparent. My, my grandchildren imitate me. They imitate me. They do so funny things. I'm old. How do I like it? To be told that I go back to be 18. For eternity. That's beautiful. Brothers and sisters, these things are real. Right now, if I say let's turn, you are going to hear some, some mumbling. It's some screaming inside. You used to jump up like that. But today you have to go. Nasi Struggle to stay there. Go to stay there. And when you straighten yourself, you can hear the pain. Go you can't hear the pain. 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 You still have your money. You still have your education. You still have your job. You have a director. But that doesn't take anything away. As as no Things keep coming. And they invite their friends. This is nothing. There is no such in heaven. There 
There is a God in heaven. There is a life to go to. We can't continue in this. I'm so tired of this. I need to go home. I'm saying. I'm saying. I want to be putting on those things. I want to see for myself. Because there is a God in heaven. Lord. Amen. I want to be seeing my wife. I want to be seeing my children clearly. I want to be seeing my Lord. Don't you want to be home? It's almost home time. It's almost home time. It's time that we drop everything for the kingdom of God. God is God. God is God. We are human. We are human. That's why we have funeral police. We actually know that we will go. We pay rent house for, we pay rent house for the houses. We pay for electricity. We pay for, we pay for the water. We pay medical aid. How much, how much do you pay for your bread? Who but Ramari? Which municipality? In municipality, It's time we think of young way of fungus and forget about these things. Kangano is measures of the world. Kangano, forget about churches. Kangano, my church. No time to start to a church. No time to be stuck to a church. No time to be stuck to a preacher. Preachers who come and go, but this remains in place. It was there before there was a preacher. It will be there after preachers are gone. Preachers are going to be hypocrites. Preachers are going to be crooks. We see them every day. They preach on the TV. Count number running day. Soliciting for money. All that they are standing to do is to get money. When are we going to worship? Where we raised to put money together? Our church is fundraising campaigns. Is that the mandate? God brought us here to worship him. And we must worship him. That's what we are called to do. To worship him. Unamat. And let's worship him. Amen. 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 Glory. We have a few minutes before they are ready for lunch. Amen. So we just want to worship him. Amen. Glory. Amen. Lunch we be ready God. at one. Amen. Lunch one. But we just want to worship him. Before we go for that lunch. And before we return for the afternoon uh, singing. Amen. 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 Want to sing in the city where the lamb is. The Amen. Amen. I don't know whether you're able to cast it there. I wonder what him it is. And so to him, man. He's a country far beyond the star sky. It's 107 in the hymn books for those who have hymn books. Amen. I hope I'll be able to see. I don't know where I threw those things. You know, when we get lost. Is it still alive? Oh, thank, thank God. <laughs> Give me key A for that. There is a country far beyond the starry sky. There is a city where there never comes a night. If we are faithful, we shall go there by and by. It's the city where the lamb is the light. In the city where the lamb is the light. Sisters, help me. The city where they come at night Have a mansion over them And when free from toil and care I am going where the lamb is the light Here we have 
body sunshine that we know that the sun which shines upon us now so bright will be changed to clouds and rain until we go to the city where the lamb is the lamb in the city in the city where the lamb is the lamb the city the city where they come and go night I've had my show over there And when free from cold and care I am going where the lamb is the lamb There the flowers, there the flowers bloom forever And the day shall be one eternal day without a night our tears shall be forever wiped away in the city where the lamb is the lamb. In the city, in the city where the lamb is the lamb. The city, the city where they come and go now. I've a mansion over there and when free from toil and care. I am going where the lamb is the lamb. Here we have, here we have our disappointments for the while. And our fondest hopes, but between fear and blind. Go by night, we whip the morning princess mouth. In the city where the lamb is the lamb. In the city. The city where the lamb is the lamb. The city where they come and go night. I've been marching over there, and when free from toil and care, I am going where the lamb is the lamb. Then let sunlight, then let sunlight fade, let twilight bring its glow. For a shadow can my please go so afraid For I know that up in heaven there is food In the city where the land is the land In the city The city where they come and go I can't fit anywhere. All my life, I've been serving the Lord. So I have nowhere to fit out. For 42 years of my life, I've been serving the Lord. So where do I go? Where do I start? I don't fit out there. I can't do what they do. I can't enjoy what they enjoy. But I love the Lord in my heart. I'm not here because I'm a preacher. When I came to the Lord, I was not a preacher. I'm not here because I'm a pastor. That's irrelevant. I'm not here because I can drive a car. I used to walk to church barefoot. I used to sleep out. 
outdoors after church. I used to go for days on end with no food because of this gospel as a little boy. So I'm not here because I'm privileged. I'm here because I love the Lord. I just love the Lord. And I believe if there is a heaven, there's a place for someone. When preachers preach, touch is my heart. Because that's life to me. Amen. Glory. Shall we bow our heads? I just want to ask the, uh, Brother Landa to come and close for us this section. We come before the King of Kings, the Lord and the Savior of our souls. Gracious Jehovah, we have nothing to offer unto thee, Lord, but thou art one who chose us and placed our names in the Lamb's book of life. And when it came time, Lord Jesus Christ, when you were born in this world, you sent us a prophet with a message, dear God, that we don't come from this world, but we come from eternity, and we are going back to eternity. Amen. Lord God, when you revealed our names in the Lamb's Book of Life, we are privileged, dear Father, to see ourselves in your plan of redemption. Amen. How we thank you, Lord, even for the great promise that we are going to a place where you went to prepare for us. And when it came to John 14, 20, dear God, you told us, dear Father, that it shall be time to know that we shall be with you, even in you, Amen. until the end of time. Amen. Grant it, Lord, even as we depart this morning, dear Father, may you go with us, reminding us of the things that are to come, even the great day that we should be gathered together. In heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you, church. And once again, I want to say thank you to all of you, the trustees and deacons, for making the arrangements that are concrete for us to have this place and for the success of the meetings. Thank you for everyone who put contributions financially to make it possible for us to have these meetings and those who traveled far, thank you for coming over and uh, to spend time with us. Those who opened their homes to receive visitors, God bless you. And for everyone who did whatever little thing, it's important to us. We want to tell you that you are important to us. We love you. And that's what brings us together. May God bless you. We will be coming back here around two, and then we'll be having a music uh, session. I think preachers will be resting. The musicians will be taking the stage. And we'll just enjoy that maybe to the end of the day. Then I will break. Since tomorrow is a working day, we would like to break early so that those who want to fly away can have time to get to the airport in time. May God bless you so much. Anything else? Okay. All right. May God bless you. For our uh, Sunday services, my, my, my every Sunday, for those who don't know this place, we, we always have our Sunday service in this no, place. No, it's my service every Sunday, mono. Same time about nine o'clock. Nine, nine o'clock. We are here. Uh, 
those who have children want to bring them to Sunday school. The, uh, Sunday school is open. What time is Sunday school open? Quarter past eight. Quarter past eight. Every Sunday school teacher says Sunday school. You know, Tangana quarter past eight. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. And sometimes they have Saturdays. Munguanta ma Saturday. At my house. Bakwangu. Just to have a little bit more time with the children. Because the Bible says, train up a child in the way he must go. By the road. Did the same one and Zrayano from when he is. Oh, do not depart from. Bahano kura azu bepatika So don't let your children. Spend their time out there. You live a life of regret when you can't bring them back into the world. So get them when they are young. And help them to value the things of God. I'm saying this from a parent's point of view. A parent who raised children. Successfully by God's grace. So let's do that. Do it as you. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. I just want to sing as the song leader comes to dismiss us. And uh, I just want to sing the song. What key were we on? to be flat. It's still too high. Right all of my voice is gone. Right, go down back to G. I have a maker. He formed my heart. And before Thank you.
as the candidates of rapture. pilgrims and strangers, Heavenly Father. We are seeking for a city, Almighty God, whose build and make is God Almighty. But you don't tend to die in a shock or a bullet comes over and ask him to say, She's already Zayas, Marabam Kadim Muranda, when you would say, Morabe, Michi Zosa, Nuku Femera, Muri Memoroma Simbos, Baba, Tinoya Zuluan Beripos, when you babish for Karurama, Tichikumiki Zajipos of Visconiva, and when you Baba, Ropa Fazai, Comoration, Massimbos, and Mutsuine Baba, Tashika Pumagumu, each Kamuchino by Chukutanga Moroma Simbos, and Mutsuine, as we take a break, Heavenly Father, oh God, we come before you, dear Father. May we not depart from the atmosphere. May we not depart from the presence. May we stay under the influence of the Holy Ghost. We pray and commit everything before thee in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Just to remind us we are going to use the same procedure of yesterday as we go out our lunch is already uh, ready. We just gonna greet one another and we set up our tables. Then we go straight to uh, have our lunch. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Uh, we have seen this song maybe goes about time to go and have our lunch and get prepared for the musicians to bless us. Amen. Um, Larry and Evangel, let the gospel move, amen, uh, as, we, as we leave. Larry and Evangel, Larry and Evangel, Larry and Evangel, Larry and Evangel, Kwa mutoko Kari yende Kana kulisuu 